Greetings from my cold studio. I wanted to make a quick video today to talk to you about the inner critic that I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with the concept of an inner critic and it's something that I've taught about for years and I had something happen recently where I wasn't even realizing that I was being self-critical and I wanted to share it with you. So these are some recent drawings I've been working on or watercolor on paper, whatever you want to call them. Some of them are works in progress, some of them are finished. Just to give you a sampling of things I've been working on in the studio. So this series has been going on, I think I started it about a year ago when I was in New York. I always get super inspired and I had to run out and buy this paper and start doing some drawings. Some of these are based on parks in Brooklyn where I was staying at the time. Anyway, so these, these are not all finished, but I just wanted to show them to you. And what happened was I started to criticize my color palette. I was feeling like, oh, this is boring. These colors are you know so basic and there are so many artists who do so many interesting and sophisticated things with colors and it was just a little it wasn't really stopping me from working but it was a little uh, what do you call it, background noise in my brain and what was interesting one of the reasons i went to new york uh, this past week or two ago uh, was to see the hilma afklint show and she was a Swedish artist from the turn of the last century and um, earlier actually I think she was active 1860s 1880s to about 19 somewhere in the teens so active more than a hundred years ago and in the exhibition <laughs> she had this series called the Parsifal series, which was actually not hung the way you see it in the book here. There were actually a grid of rows of colors and they were so similar to the colors I was using. I had sort of an aha moment. Let's see, I think that's, oh yeah, they have these ones too. Anyway, um, that I had, I was being self-critical and that um, I should just embrace the colors I'm using. And yes, I want to stretch, and I actually was starting to use other colors like yellows, and I want to do some purples and oranges, but um... to me, it was just an example of how sneaky the inner critic is. And I have a question for you. So tell me in the comments below, is there something that you might be criticizing yourself for that unnecessarily I think sometimes that voice can urge us and spur us forward to new ideas or processes or to expand what we're doing with our work and sometimes it can just be this subtle drain like a leaky faucet that's dripping in the background and you don't even notice it until it starts to drive you crazy <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a great week and I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think below. Bye.